Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing a fall 2018 coffee bar decorate with me. Uh, I almost never get video requests, but this was requested, so I was happy to film it. And I was filming at night, so if the lighting's a little bit weird, that is why, just bear with me. But let me show you what my coffee bar looked like before. In the summer, I don't decorate, so I just have my coffee sitting in a cookie jar on my countertop, but once I start decorating, I like to put that away so that I can have easy access to my K-cups without fumbling with decor, so I put everything in here. If you don't have a drawer to store your essentials, there are drawers that you can slip underneath your coffee maker and they don't take up any more space than what's already being used by your coffee maker. I'll link some of those below. It is a great organizational tool and space saver. And if you're wondering what is above, I have just some more coffee extras and essentials and all of my mugs. I have basically only Ray Dunn and a couple special mugs and you'll see my new fall mug a little later on in the video but this mug with the k on it is new it was a gift from my girl kenya and i love it i'm gonna link her channel below she has one also so like i said i just have ray done basically and i think having similar mugs helps to make your cabinet look a little more organized so i thought i'd share that tip with you but I'm going to be decorating this two-tiered tray from Hobby Lobby. I got this on sale for $15. It was 50% off. And I'll go ahead and link below a similar one from the Hobby Lobby website that costs the same and is pretty much identical. It's, it's a little bit different though. And here is just a quick overview of what we will be using to decorate the tray. This truck is from the Target Dollar Spot this fall, so you could definitely go on the hunt for this. It was $3, and I'm going to be using a couple copper mugs from Walmart. I actually have an entire cabinet full of copper mugs. We have a slight obsession at my house. I'm also using some paper straws. These are old from Dollar Tree, but there are these straws in the Target Dollar Spot right now if you'd like to pick those up instead for $1. And I use those to stir creamer into my coffee if you're wondering. These honey spoons are from Home Goods. You just stir them into hot tea or coffee, I guess, if you want. So those are actually for my boyfriend because he likes tea and not coffee. This pumpkin is from Dollar Tree, but I added my own bow onto it. You can see I did the same on the canister in the background. It's just a good way to spruce up some decor that you may already have. And this boxwood pumpkin is also from Target Dollar Spot for $3. I just love the height and texture that it brings to the, the tray. And it looks good anywhere you put it, you guys. So definitely pick that up if you see it. This pumpkin is from Kirkland's. I believe it was $3.99. And it also came in an orange buffalo check in case you're interested. This copper measuring cup is from Meyer. I have a whole set and I always use them in my tiered trays for decor. This pumpkin came from Bath and Body Works. It's actually a candle topper, so it has a magnet in the bottom and I'm just placing that in the measuring cup. These sugar packets fit perfectly in the bed of the truck. It's almost like that's what it was meant for. And I'm just adding in some greenery because I felt like it needed it at the bottom. Those are actually from that pumpkin. You couldn't even tell I clipped them and the other pieces are from Dollar Tree. And I'm just popping those in where I feel like it's needed. And the last thing I'm going to use is this spoon. It's the Starbucks brand from Home Goods, and it's a double tablespoon, which is the single serving size if you're using loose coffee. This mug is new. I love that it has the pumpkin in the bottom and it was $3.99 at Home Goods. And that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. My fall home tour will be up within the next week or two, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you have not already, and I hope to see you back in a future video. Bye, guys.